this video, we're going to work on our country and bluegrass cross picking. We're going to do that by learning another instrumental for Red River Valley. So this instrumental, it's going to be loaded with some really nice sounding cross picking riffs. And download the tablature for this instrumental right below the video player here at countryguitaronline.com. Uh, anyways, if you're ready to learn this, let's zoom into my right and left hands. We're going to pull up tablature on the screen, work through the entire instrumental, and I'll give you all some good cross-picking tips. So here on the screen, we've got the first five measures of this cross-picking arrangement. Take a note that for all five of these measures, we're going to be holding down the C slash G chord. That's a C major chord slash G bass note. Also, as we're working through this entire arrangement, take a real good look at my right hand pick stroke direction. I think it's real important to get the down pick and the up pick stroke direction correct for this arrangement. It'll really help you smooth it out. If you need a little extra help on the pick direction, right above the tablature you can see we've got the pick stroke direction symbols. So anyways, let's play through this line here a few times and get a feel for it and then I'll give you all some pointers. One, two, three, four, one, two. So in measure one, we've got a couple of pickup notes. And at this point, we're already holding down the C slash G chord. Pick up into measure two, where we've got some cross picking going on. Pay attention to those pick stroke direction symbols there. Also, try to let all of those notes ring out as much as you can. It'll create a lot of nice overtones. I think that's real important for these cross-picking style riffs. Let those notes ring out, smooth, them, smooth out the riffs a lot. Then into measure three, Same thing as the previous measure. You're basically just holding down that C slash G chord, but lifting up your left middle finger to do all the hammer on and pull off type of work. Timing is a little strange. video if you want to work on that. Then we get into measures four and five, a little more basic here. Pick, strum, walk on up, pick, strum, pick, pick. One 
one thing I did want to point out, measure four, holding the C slash G chord, we've got pick strong, then walk on up, for that little walk up there, you pretty much lift up the chord, walk up the scale, into measure five, where we've got another pick strum. For the pick strum in measure five, you see my left hand, I'm actually holding down standard C major chord fingering. At this point, I just think it's easier after that walk up to do a regular C major. But then, right after it, we've got a couple of picks right there. For those two picks, I transition back into the C slash G. So, walk on up, C strum, transition, pick, pick. And the reason I do that is so I can let those two notes ring out as we work into measure six. real smooth. The only other option there really in measure five is to do the pick strum and then shift your left ring finger but that's a little choppier I think. I like to, to transition back to the C slash G to let them ring. So let's play through this line one more time take a good listen and then we'll move on to the next line. One, two, three, four, one, two. Then we go into measure six. Let's let's try measure six through nine right here. Sounds like this. time. And remember in the previous measure, in measure five, we had those two bass line notes there. I'm going to start into measure six through nine that you see on the screen by playing those two bass notes. I think it makes more sense. So here we go. Bass note measure six. Probably learn that part first, measure six through seven. Bass note measure six. Holding down C slash G chord for most of that. After that, measures eight and nine, we switch to a G chord. And really, I'm not playing a full G chord. It's just some G riffs uh, kind of modeled around the G chord. Let's play that a couple more times. One more time, let's play this line on the screen, measure six through nine, starting with those two bass notes before. Bass note. We're halfway done, there's not much more left. And next we'll go into measures 10 
through 13. Sounds like this. Measure 10. 